I'm going to try and make this as simple as I possibly can to understand how to use the frame picker. The frame picker in Animate can be found in the window under Frame Picker. However, we'll get to that in just a moment. What we're going to do is I'm going to draw a simple eyeball. I'm going to go ahead and just draw a circle like this. And imagine I wanted this eyeball to blink. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go and take the arrow tool. I'm going to select my eyeball. I'm going to right click on it and convert it to a symbol. Now the reason why I do this is because typically your eyeball is going to be a whole lot more complicated than just a dot. And to use frame picker, honestly, you need symbols. So let's convert to symbol. And I'm going to call it I. And I'm going to make sure it's a graphic. Then I'm going to hit OK. Now, when it's selected, like this, it's selected, I can come over to looping. And under looping, make sure that it says single frame. Now, you may want to loop it if you're going to make a fire. And we can get to that later. But for right now, single frame is what we want. And then you can click Use Frame Picker. This will simply activate the frame picker you can find up here. Now, as you can see, I have one frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on it. Now, notice right here I'm in my scene. But what happens when I double click on it is boom, boom. All of a sudden, now I'm in the eye. I can go back to the scene. But if I double click it, now I'm in the eye. And so this whole timeline is a different timeline than the previous one. I'm going to go ahead and hit function of 7. I'm going to use the onion skin tool and draw a slightly closed eye. And then let's go ahead and hit function of 7. And let's draw a closed eye. Now just for the sake of simplicity, we're going to do three frames here. Now I'm now going to go back to the scene. And as you can see, in the scene I have only one frame. Let's go ahead and make sure we label this as the eye so we don't lose what it is. I have the eye right here. But my frame picker says that I have three different versions of this eye. Here's where F6 comes in. While I'm here, I can hit F6, and it creates a new frame. I can then select one of these. Like, uh, let's just keep it here, F6, F6. Let me hit F6 a whole bunch of times, blah, 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 blah. So if it's 15 frames a second, that's one second. I'll take it to like 30, which is like two seconds. And then let's start a blink. So now I'm going to click this one. And I go F6, click this one, F6, click this one, click F6, and then open again. And keep the F6s going. Boom, 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 boom. So now, if I go back, let's take this off, and I play it, you'll see that I have an eye with a blink, just like that. Very simple. And I can add that blink anytime I want to simply by clicking on my just by selecting. So when I make a new keyframe, I can select which of those keyframes I want it to be. And you can have like a hundred of these. You could have eyes that are surprised and eyes that are mad and or mouths and put in all of your mouth movements here. It's a really useful tool to understand a frame picker. So um, good luck.